Okay, this problem is about understanding how to graph. Uh, so we're told a few things. Uh, typically they'll give you a few graphs to pick from, but uh, just to make it easier, I'm just going to show you how to, how to get to the right graph. Uh, you know, just given the information so then you can figure it out uh, when you actually see your choices. So we're told about the, the temperature. So the time is 6 a.m. and the temp is 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And then they said the temperature rose, uh, rose steadily uh, until it reached a maximum of 85F at 3 p.m. So at 3 p.m. we've got 85F. And then the temperature dropped steadily again. And so that means uh, it dropped to 60 degrees F at 6 p.m. So these are kind of the points on your graph you have to know. So you've got the time, you've got the temperature. So we'll just uh, show how to plot that quickly. So we'll say we'll start our graph at 6 a.m. because that's the start of our time. And we'll end it at 6 p.m. And then we've got, so we've got the time, and we've got the temp. And you can just pick a scale from a uh, temperature that goes from 0 to 100. So this is in degrees F. Usually put down the uh, units. Uh, okay, so at 6 a.m. it's 60 degrees. So this is, uh, we'll say the halfway mark is around there. So that would be 50. So I'm just kind of labeling it and then uh, so you get a sense of the dimension. So we'll just put that's about where 60 would be is about one-fifth of the way up to 100 so now it says it rises steadily so that means we're dealing with straight lines so we got 6 a.m. at 60 so at 3 p.m. we've got 85 so about halfway through the day that's going to be noon so that's 12 p.m. and then another half uh, halfway between noon and 6 is 3 so that's the time we're interested is 3 p.m. so we know our time is going to be about there then at 85 it's going to be almost up to 100 so we'll say it's around here there's 85 degrees so at 3 p.m. it's 85 so we just have to kind of go and figure out where that point would be so I think it would be about there and then they said at 6 p.m we're back down at 60 degrees so we have to again kinda go okay there's 6 p.m. and there's where the 60 goes across so there's a point there so we got now we've got our three points on the graph so since it's a straight uh, steady increase it's just gonna be a straight line between the points so you just connect the dots so that's going up and then it goes back down so this is kind of how you plot it. So on the uh, the test, they're going to give you some uh, graphs that maybe don't make sense. So they might give you a graph that looks like this, and then you know it goes back down. So the problem with a graph like this is the starting temperature is wrong, and also the time when it peaks is wrong. And just based on the way I graphed it, it's higher than 85 degrees. So you have to be able to look at the graph and read the points and decide well you know it's 6 p.m. here but it looks a lot lower than 60 so that doesn't work and it's 6 a.m. here it's a lot lower than 60 and then this point is way before 3 p where 3 p.m. would be and it's way higher than 85 so you, so you can kind of tell which graphs work and which ones don't and, and you know you could have another graph that kind of goes and it peaks at 12 p.m. and then it goes down so you know the starting point and the ending point I write and this temperature of 85 is right but the problem is that the time when it reaches 85 is 12 p.m. and it should be 3 p.m. so it should be the point should be shifted over to where 3 p.m. is so basically you just have to know how to set up a graph and plot it and then you can kinda read the points and figure out if it matches uh, some of the examples that you might see on the test and then you just pick the right graph that matches